shot nine times with a knife in his hand. New video shows the moments leading up to a, the deadly police shooting of a Roseville school custodian. Investigators say that man had a four inch fish filleting blade and refused to drop it. Frank Robles was shot and killed on Grossbeck near 12 Mile after he crashed head on into a truck. Today, police gave an update on how it all played out and on the officers involved. Sean Lay was there and he's with us now with more information on all of this, Sean. And the video tells a lot more to this story and the video is very clear. The officer asked the man standing in the street with the knife, are you OK? We put a timer on the video in nine seconds that officer begins firing nine deadly shots. We're also going to show how our routine traffic investigation traffic crash turned into a deadly situation. The key question for this investigation, did this five year veteran of the Roseville Police Department fear for his life Tuesday morning when he ran up to a crash scene and spotted 57 year old Frank Robles of Roseville holding a four inch knife used to fillet fish. Hey, drop the knife. The Macomb County Sheriff's Office is investigating and today released body camera footage from the officer who shot and killed Robles. The goal to see if the officer's actions are in compliance with state and federal law. The facts from the time the officer who fired those deadly shots asked Robles, are you good? Are you good? And Robles taking a step towards him with that knife in his hand will freeze the graphic video. And in nine seconds, the officer tells Robles to drop the knife two times and the officer opens fire four times. Shots fired, shots fired. Robles hits the ground, struggles to his knees, the officer firing five more shots into him. I asked the sheriff, what is police policy in this situation? And let's just be honest. I mean, we have the luxury of reviewing this whole thing um, from our office. Uh, it's a whole different environment being out there and being confronted and having to make these type of decisions. Our officers are trained. Uh, tasers are not always reliable. They're just another piece of equipment that do malfunction. And, uh, the training we do provide them, a knife is a deadly force situation and they're not trained to pull their taser, they're trained to go to their sidearm. After those nine shots and robles in the street, you can hear the officer who fired those shots. He reloads his weapon and then says he came at me with a knife. The officer and another officer on scene, they are on paid leave during this independent investigation from the Macomb County Sheriff's Office. They will present the shooting, their investigation to the prosecutor. They say that it will take about two weeks. Guys, back to you. Yeah, Sean, uh, anything from the robles family on this today? We had some contact with them yesterday. They were in shock, did not want to talk. Now the sheriff says they presented them with the video. They saw all of it. They're asking for privacy tonight. Yeah. All right, Sean, we appreciate it.